My name is Gary Webb, uh, and this is Max, my dog. I'm involved with the Selena Cooper project at Vernon Street in, in Nelson, what is the Unity or what used to be the Socialist Institute. We started the project, my, my brother Kevin and I started the project uh, because we wanted to put some displays up about Selena Cooper's life and history. So we applied to the Heritage Lottery Fund and eventually after two or three attempts, we were awarded £50,000 to put some displays up. Selena Cooper is, uh, was a local suffragist who lived on St Mary's Street in Nelson, 59 St Mary's Street, and there's a blue plaque on the wall uh, to commemorate her. Well, Selena wasn't born in the town, she was from Devon, but she came up after some of her family came up here looking for work. Uh, and Selena worked in a local mills, but she did fantastic work looking looking after looking for out for poor people and involving uh, women's suffrage women's right to vote yeah well my favorite aspect about selena cooper was that she was, she was working class and working class history tends to get forgotten about we hear about the suffragettes bankers etc who were all tend to be middle class but people like selena seem to sometimes go under the radar and I think it's important to uh, talk about working class history. Uh, I think it gets forgotten quite often. Well, it's it's still a community hub for weddings and uh, birthdays, but the, the Revive Cafes uh, has been shut due to COVID uh, and the council are, are planning to open it very shortly. So we want to get the, get the community back into the building, uh, involve local schools and colleges and community groups to use the building as it once was, as a hive of activity 100 years ago, and we'd like to bring some of that back to the, to the building. I think it deserves it.